What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Ash the Man. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we're going to be talking about My Hero Academy Episode 5 review. Now, Hero Academy Episode 5 pretty much takes place right after Dooku pretty much take out Muscular Man. Now, that fight was definitely a great fight. Definitely something that Dooku overcome and was able to conquer that win. Uh, what the hell the Kuta, of course, because Dooku was, you know, at the point to where he could have, you know, died. But however, it worked out in the end. Can't see a young hero go down. <clears throat> now, after the fight, he started piecing information together in which the uh, vanguard of the villain organization in which their goal is. Now, one of their goals is to disrupt the training, you know, session for class um, class 1A and for class 1B. Now, Dooku wanted to report this, so he went off to Kuto on his back and found his, um, you know, his teacher, you know, Azue, which he was able to, you know, kind of make out that Dooku was in a fight and he granted all permission for all of the students <clears throat> to engage in combat if it was necessary. So he granted that to him. Now, Dooku also paid attention to something Muscular Man said too, is that Baku is one of the students that he wants to capture. Not just one of the students, but the student that they want to capture. He probably holds similarities to a villain, so that's probably why they want to capture him and try to like persuade him to go on. Now, honestly, I think that that won't happen just yet. Uh, it's too early for him to want to go to the villain side since he hasn't been a hero yet. And the way I think Goku's story is going to go is that he's going to, when they get their, um, you know, hero license, he's going to try the hero thing, and then he's going to be presented with that kind of offer in the future. And maybe that's when he's probably going to trade sides for a while. Kind of like, you know, get that experience. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to turn out to be a main villain, but I know that's probably going to happen and there's going to be some type of friendship there with Dooku, but that's just me speculating. Now, going into this a little bit more, there also, um, another thing is, is that there are other objectives, um, core, um, core exists with the first objective, which is that they pretty much wanted to cause an uprising to put fear into the pro heroes, not just because they wanted to, but you know, like, like make it scary or whatever. The Vanguard is, is, um, is not going to make this out of a win. Uh, Tomorrow pretty much um, advised that. He said they're not going to go there just like killing everything. He's not expecting that. He just want to bring fear. Um, them being villains, he won't let them know that they're, all, they're going, they're coming strong. And the Vanguard is not just push shows. Um, one of my favorite villains uh, pretty much made his action debut, which is uh, Debbie, uh, which is the main guy who is pretty much their leader. He has that um, cremation, um, you know, quirk, which is a blue flame. It's not like a flame that um, just goes in like another place or whatever. It's like some type of like, um, like purgatory kind of flame, which, which is showing for blue. Which is the opposite color for which we know that it usually like burn bright red or like a bright orange. So it's def I would definitely like to see more of him. So definitely great because he turns out. I mean, I like his look, his attitude, and everything. So yeah, I think I found one of my favorite people in here finally. <laughs> now, over and all, with with the actions that are going on, we got a we got a chance to see some of my um like class one B pretty much get out there and show what they're capable of and honestly a lot of people is like on the internet it's kind of like happy to see that 2B is able to be useful just as well as uh, 1A but this is something you have to understand in the last season when they had like the little sports event uh, for the heroes or upcoming heroes to be more precise 1B proved themselves previously that they can go par to par with 1A. It's just that 1A has some more determination and have been doing more situations than 1B. It doesn't intentionally mean that they are better um, or just excel at them as heroes. They just have more of a unique standing than 1B class. So I just want to get that out there because they are definitely awesome. And some of them heroes that I like to get to know. Um, 
So yeah, let's not let's not knock them down now. <laughs> now continuing on with this, I mean we did get a chance to see some climatic um like story, uh, so that would definitely hit, especially with the ending of the episode showing that uh, Tokyo Yomo um his darkness quake which is going out of control. And what that means is that it's like a dark shadow. It gets stronger as the nightfall hits. So, um, and it pretty much comes out of his out of his control, and that's what was going on. And if he if Dooku wasn't safe, um, you know, going towards them, then he would actually, you know, like I don't think he would have been able to kind of like be breathing at this point because Shoji had to, you know, pretty much grab him and hold him because he could tell he was badly injured. And Tokiyomi Quake is going crazy, so it's kind of interesting. So there's definitely a lot of things that's going on, especially with Bokyo. Um, he feels that Doku may have said something to stop him from fighting because they preliminarily told him that he's not to engage, pretty much with her to quarters, and he's not happy with that. And uh, Todori uh, pretty much is trying to stop him from like just raging on because that's what the enemy want him to do. So yeah, definitely a lot of interesting things going on. Um, and I just want to like leave it off of there and just give the episode my thumbs up. The episode was great. Um, even though there's a lot of things going on, different battlefields, the objective is still staying similar. It's just that like it's different scenarios that's going on in different places. So I think it's I think they manage it very well to not you know spoil it with just like being focused on just one person too much and actually spread out everybody's time very well, especially in the 30 minutes of time. That's definitely unique and unusual. But however, we actually got to see them do that, so that's definitely a plus in my book. So yeah, and again, um, thank you guys for so much for watching uh, the review. Um, I think I'm starting to feel a little bit better, so I'm definitely going to be back on schedule with everything. And I'm going to have it to where it's going to be um, Tuesday. It's going to be Tokyo Ghoul Day. Wednesday, Black Clover. Um, Thursday, Megalobox. And Saturday is going to be Hero Katama, in which this is about like 40 hours, um, you know, behind. But however, on top of that, I'm going to leave Monday and Friday up to being more of a like discussion day so if it's like a topic that i may want to talk about i will probably cover on those days to have more of a schedule for my anime part um that i think that will probably work out the best and sundays will probably just be a chill day or if y'all um, like if anybody messaged me on social media i will probably be able to kind of like answer that and and be able to talk to people uh, so yeah and again thank you guys so much for definitely tuning in ash the man is out